What's going on everybody, I'm YouTube's ProBJ and welcome back, finally, to Wife is Strange 2. We're heading into episode 5, if I'm not mistaken, so let's jump straight into it. Once upon a time, All right. in a wild, wild world. We get our recap, which is good, because I'm incredibly late to this episode, uh, and don't remember quite a lot of what happened in the previous one. Until hunters took their dad away. Yes, episode 1. This brutal start to a fucking episode, dude. For days and nights, learning how to live on their own for the first time. Mm. That's when the big brother discovered that the little one was not an ordinary wolf, but a super wolf. Correct. And it's interesting now, so from my memory, the end of episode four, which is a little bit fuzzy, is um, he's getting held captive by like this religious group. If I'm not mistaken, so I'm, I'm pretty sure that like this episode is all about getting him back from that religious group. But danger seemed to always follow them after a bad accident. They were separated. The big brother had been hurt, and the hunters finally captured him. Mm. They put him in a cage. But when he oh my god, I remember that. He was in the um, hospital when we broke out. For his little brother. He soon found out that the little wolf had joined a coyote cult, and he would not leave them. Suddenly, oh. their mother showed up. After all that time, she said she came to help rescue him. They begged the coyote leader, but she would not release the little wolf. He was. Oh, idol. that's right. Was it no? The so end of the last episode was it that um, we escaped. So we did escape. The Wolf Brothers, now reunited, followed their rogue mother far into the desert to her hideaway. And that is where our story continues. I'm so glad they have those recaps, but I'm also glad like a lot of a lot of news has happened since I've been gone. Like I've been gone a bit over a month, so it's the longest break I've ever taken from doing this, um, which was refreshing to be quite honest. Um, but the biggest news that I found out while we, while I've been gone is that um, the wolf Am the wolf among us two from Telltale is coming back. So that's gonna be that's gonna be a really exciting one for this year. Arizona, seven weeks after the events of Havenport. All right, let's jump back into it, eh? I've heard I've heard mixed things about this episode, so I'm, I'm hoping it it ends in an okay way. I'm interested to see whether they try to connect this uh, this up to season one. Perhaps, perhaps not. But they did go through. Um, I think it was episode one. They passed Arcadia Bay. So I don't know whether it's going to end with the storm, like, coming through. Hey, wake up, Sean. Time for the sunrise. Dude, come on. What? What time is it? Get up. It's so beautiful. That is a pretty cool shot. Damn. Kind of reminds me of like the shots on um, Firewatch, if you guys remember that game. Which is a game I kind of want to go back and redo at some point. Because there was a lot of mistakes that we did with that, that season. Oh, that uh, series, rather. So? Yeah, okay. Good call. Wow. That's amazing. God, that's a cool shot. It's like they're standing at the Grand Canyon or something. Is your eye okay? Oh, super duper. Yeah. Still got it. It just itches. It's okay, Nana. I promise. Yeah. Uh, okay. I love you. 
matter what happens. You hear me? Yeah. I love you too. <laughs> Next minute, they just get attacked. Fucking junk. DS, <laughs> Always. So what happened to the mum? Because they they left so, with her, didn't they? Are you still having those bad dreams? You know, about Lisbeth. Yeah. Sometimes. I feel like she's around, coming after me. It's scary. Uh, she's scared? Dude, I bet she's having nightmares about you. <laughs> I mean, yeah. wouldn't she's blame her. out there. Somewhere. Creeps me out. She lurks in the shadows. She has no power. Without you, she has no power. We're all good. Hope so. Sean, are we criminals now? I mean, weren't they technically criminals at the start of like episode one? Sort of. Wasn't that like the big thing in episode one? A lot of illegal shit. If the cops catch us. We'll be judged for what we did. That's for sure. Yeah. I know. Well, we're almost at the border. Finally. I like it here, but we'll have to leave soon. I know. I'm sorry, you know. Sean. I know it's been a so is their plan time. still me go to Mexico? The wolf story. Sure, why not? Oh. Yeah, I can tell you. Been forever since we left off. Way too long. Hmm. Let's see. Oh yeah. Okay. So, thanks to the Mama Wolf, mm. the Wolf Brothers barely escaped from the coyote cult she led them to her secret lair deep in the red desert so she's still around Wolf brothers like for they're while. still with her then at some point they'd have to continue their journey south they were closer than ever to their father's land but between them and their destination lied a mighty fire unicorn <laughs> a mighty fire unicorn but Damn. she's nice, so they become friends. <laughs> uh, um, excuse me, who's telling the story? You are, but it's my story. It's just too. spicing it up a little bit, right? True. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Okay then. So what happens next? Uh, they they arrive in Mexico. But the country is rampaged by goblins. Together, the wolves and the unicorn manage to slay them and become heroes. The police forgives them, and all their friends come to Mexico to celebrate. <laughs> yeah. Sounds pretty good, and I know. Does sound pretty damn good. Let's back this shit up and head back to town. Gotta all right, let's pack everything. This place is too pretty. I hope we can go watch the stars again. Mom said there's a moon eclipse coming up soon. <laughs> I'm in. This place is cool. I could just move here. I mean, hey, that I alone, like, just, just with just with the sun you behind them, that is a cool shot. It's kind of why, like, all these different games are just... I don't know. It's, um... I, I love these kind of story based games and that's why I play so many of them is because it's these games in particular and like the telltale ones and everything just feel 
like movies or TV shows or something that you're kind of involved in, but they're shot very much like a movie or a television show. I'm glad we're sleeping in our All right, bed. Uh, flashlight. Activate flashlight. On the way. <laughs> Soda cans? Yo, Captain Can, can you take these away? Sure. Perfect formation. Hmm. Let's clean up this mess. Not if it cleans up by itself. Damn. Stop. Daniel. <laughs> Can't catch it, huh? No shit. <laughs> Now cut it out. Jeez, you're no fun. True, if you had that kind of power, you would just, uh... I'm glad we had be kind of funny to fuck with people all the time. I'm not a fan of desert critters. This power is so cool. I love Tide. I swear, Dad, at that same book in the garage. Yeah, I think he did. Why did he never show it to us? Maybe... It reminded him of mom too much. Oh. Yeah. Right. Oh, let's draw. Oh, sketching time. Good idea. This was a very this is a very interesting new feature that they added into this right. game as opposed to the first one. You know. Well, let's observe. <laughs> Me too, Daniel. I can see it in my mind. I can still sketch it. Let's do it. Almost. That's so cool. It is pretty cool. I don't want you to stop drawing. Ever. <laughs> Thanks, man. This is so cool. Hmm. Pretty good. But I can add more details if I want. Let's do one more. Nice. Oh. Hey, can you draw me as a superhero? Like, striking a pose over the table. Gotta be badass, come on. Mm, I can try. <laughs> nice. That's pretty cool. Tada. Finished. Let me check it out. That's pretty cool. Jeez. Do I really look that evil? He looks more like a super villain. I thought he looked pretty good, but you know. Alright, um, what else we got? Let's pack that in and then we should be good to go. Should well, be. Let's hit the trail, cowboy. Let's do it. Although, if it was me, I'd just stay in the desert, I think. It's uh, not a bad location to be in. Very picturesque. What are you doing? No time to play. Dude, we don't have time to play. Come on, let's go. <sighs> okay, okay. Hmm. <laughs> It is a cool power. Oh, now it really feels like Firewatch. Jesus Christ. I wish we saw my falling stars. Or any. <laughs> Don't piss when they fall. <laughs> That's what you get for taking a piss when the only one fell. Hey, see this? 
Looks like the ones you did back in that cabin. Hell yeah, it does. When you got sick. Oh, totally. Alright, let's Wait. head down. Does that mean other people were here? Of course. Maybe someone from away did it. Oh, I bet it was Joanne. Hmm. Anyway, That'd be interesting. That, that's the other interesting thing. I wonder whether they're going to bump into those people again. Yeah. These guys are real cool. Alright, let's go. You know, I could have done it by myself, right? Hey. Let me be the cool. Oh, look, look. Okay, it just got cut off halfway through. Looks like a job for our local cool super psychic boy. Yeah, and you scared it. I know. <laughs> All right, let's do it. So, maybe you can help us get out of here. Mm, I'll try. Step back. Be oh, says says the normal. superhero that like fucking <laughs> brought down the entire building. He's like, I don't know about these rocks. I don't know. There you go. I hope it's okay. <laughs> nice man. Okay. It's, it, this episode so far is slow, so hopefully it starts building up a little bit. And like, if I put it on par like uh, against season one, I think season one still is like a, a lot better kind of game overall. This It's still a good game, it's just, I feel like there was a lot of filler in these episodes, there's a lot of um, kind of downtime that's just there to pad out like a three hour episode. And from what I've seen, this is like a three and a half hour episode that we're playing now. So we'll do a bit today and then we'll, we'll break it up a little bit like we did with the previous one. Episode five, Wolves. Hopefully this one though kind of gets that momentum back. Because I think episode one had that momentum and then it just kind of started to dip off a little bit. Hey, I'm gonna go see what Joanne is doing. <laughs> go for it. I have to bring back the telescope to Stanley and Arthur. So we got new people that we've met. Went to town for weekly supplies. Some pancakes left in the kitchen. <laughs> Back soon. Ah, oh, so done. Daniel, you copy? Yes, I read you. Ten four. I have a pancake alert in the kitchen. Repeat. Pancake alert. Oh man. Sorry. I was gonna eat with Joanne. Ten four. No flying pancakes today. Okay. Let's have a look here. What we got? Excuse me, water boy. Did you remember to feed the crops? I never forget. Ask mom. Okay. No way I could grow stuff like she can. Mm, maybe in Mexico. Oh yeah. We can grow a lot of stuff there. Let's have a look. Our is kind of a big thing around here. Oh yeah. We can grow a lot of stuff there. Okay, they just went back in. That was a bit janky, but... Water management is kind of a big thing around here. Okay, we discussing it then? Dude, we could put red food coloring in the water and turn this into a blood tank. Yeah, but then everybody would freak out. Truth? Plus, can't do food coloring out here. Okay. Let's have a look around. David's trailer. David always wants to help. 
but he's tough to figure out. Okay, so who's Joe? He said Joan or Joanne or someone that he was going to. Looking at this place. Oh, here? I see that Karen really wanted to get away from it all. Stanley and Arthur's Morning, house. John. Morning, guys. How are we? All good? Hey, what's up? Morning, Sean. Join us. Have a seat. Yeah, we're doing team? Oh, hey, just in having, time a, having a brew? Special desert brew and dust free. Thanks so much. Sean, it's too early to be so awake. No kidding. Hey, how was your sleepover in the canyon? <sighs> Amazing. Not bad. We watched the sunrise. Daniel loved it too. That's my favorite view out here. It's like ancient times, but it never gets old. Unlike us, darling. That canyon'll be here long after we're gone. Hope you looked up. We did. <laughs> Thanks for hooking us up. <laughs> Anytime. Even my daughter Becky loves to stargaze when she visits us. That's the only way to get Arthur to camp now. Becky is the real astronomer in the family. Wonder where she got this. From her mom, probably. Hope you guys get to meet Becky. Um, we'll be leaving soon? That sounds cool, but we gotta be leaving soon. We still have a ways to go. Technically, you're already in a way. I get it, you still have to find your home. Yeah. We were lucky, and old enough to find ours here. Why come here, though? So... What Why makes this place so special? Because we got tired of people's bullshit. Things change. But being gay is still dangerous. The end. Damn, ain't that the John, truth. I'm almost 60, and I was a happily married man for 20 years. Until I came out. Hmm. I don't blame my family for being in shock, but I didn't think they'd disown me. My other daughters won't even talk to me anymore. That's the thing. We we like this uh, idea that it's all changing and stuff, but there is still like parts of society that are still kind of in that that dark age when it comes to this kind of subject matter. For the better. I hear that. I'm just so fucking tired of running. I hope me and Daniel find our own away. You will. People come here to reset their life, become the person they want to be or used to be. You're smart. You'll figure out your next direction. Right, Gramps? Well, he's already Be got yourself, it. Grandpa. He's already got it figured out. We know My the plan. Body might be 59, but I'm 25. <laughs> uh-huh. I'll remember that on the next hike. I'm going to see what Daniel's up to. Thanks for the desert brew. <laughs> a little bit of brew. You still remind me of Claire and Steven. In a weird we'll bear. version. <laughs> hey, Sean. What were you doing at Arthur and Stanley's place? Just You're saying, get out. To be stalking me, dude. Um, uh, you know what? I saw them kissing the other day. And? Kind of weird. Uh, it's kind of normal. You know, it's actually normal for people in love to kiss, right? I know. I just mean they're really cute together. I hope somebody cares about me like that when I get old. Hey, artist, come by Joanne's place. I am. I a wild sculpture. Hold up. I'll be over in a minute. Like now. All right, let's have a look. Whereabouts? What happened before? There he is. Karen did hook us up here. Why does he keep showing people? Isn't it meant to be a secret? See for yourself. Man, check this out. Well, I guess the secret's out the bag. I guess, but. Hey, Daniel, let's take a little break. Got it. That child is. Something special. Yeah. Sure is. I hear this one a lot. Don't worry. Mm, yeah, I bet. <laughs> but you have your own talent, Sean. I'm dead serious. Okay. <laughs> Just doodles. 
I don't know. It's just... Doodles and shit. No big yeah. deal. I thought my sculptures were shit, too. Compared to all the dope stuff that was being done. But every artist is fucking unique, Sean. Ain't that the fucking truth. We all got something to bring to the world. Why are you here now? So why are you all the way out here now? It's interesting to hear, like, the backstories a I little bit. selling my work for good money. And as soon as I did, everyone turned into smiling sharks. Listen, if you want to be an artist, you will be. <laughs> it's not always easy. But in the end... Nothing worthwhile is. Pretty fucking cool. Speaking of, do you mind giving me a hand here? Oh, uh... Sure. What do we got? I don't know if I can. Yes, you can. I just need your input. Okay? Alright. Okay. Sure. Why not? Ah, there you go. Now, go stand over there. Daniel, you ready to start again? Oh, yes. Hold on. It's cool that he can kind of, like, be open about it now. So, for my next trick, I'd love to see if you can connect these three pieces. I've made a model of what I have in mind here, but go ahead and be the artist. Connect and to the three. You don't need a crane to lift this stuff. <laughs> Daniel can snap these together like block toys. Hell yeah. Let's do this. Okay, so there's three things here. Maybe that's supposed to represent the earth. Hmm. Or a ball. <laughs> okay, Daniel. Can you slam dunk the earth ball onto the base? Hell yeah. Okay. Oh, you should totally do like the model, but with the spider on top. Now the arms. Let's throw on that spider. See, Sean. And then the head. Hmm. Now, let's move Mr. Pancake's head onto the pedestal. Totally. That looks, uh, that's all right, I think. How's that? I feel like we're almost done. Well, I think this is it. Looks good to me. Only if the muse approves. Not what I had in mind, but it's still cool. You Hell yeah, it is. Well, Sean, Daniel, I think art might be in your family DNA. There's no escape. I think we're done for the day. Thank you so much for your help. Okay. Nice. That was fun. Joanne is so chill about her art. That's what. That's cool. It's Joanne pretty cool. Trusted me to help build her sculpture. Like that is pretty cool. Yeah, I've read about it. It's a video game, right? Yes, and you can build whatever you want in it. Ooh, you have to show me then. <laughs> Precarious patriot, shrouded in dust. All right, what are we meant to be doing now? Let's have a look. Wait for Karen to come back. Easy. Dude, remember when you totally fell asleep during that Bollywood flick? <laughs> it was so lame after those cool cartoons. <laughs> Whatever. You missed Priya and Stanley teaching me how to dance. No, I didn't. You can't dance, dude. <laughs> hey, I may have two left feet, but still dance. Okay, so I'm guessing if we just wait long enough, it's meant to snap the next. Next thing in.
Let's have a look. Brody's so good at describing Ah, cool. Situations. They still keep up with his stuff. That's awesome. And seeing the good into it. That's really cool. I'm not going to read through all of this because there's a lot, but if y'all want to stop, feel free. I'm just getting a general kind of gist of what's happening here. Yes, you too, Lila. Always. <laughs> That's so cool. Alright, let's head off. Okay. Will you accept this quest to find my secret treasure? No. <laughs> no. Sure. Ten four. Okay. You're on it, Nano. If I can find you in a forest, I can find anything. Yes. Thanks, Sean. Listen carefully. You must find the two items that will reveal where the treasure is. Okay. Deal. So for the first item is near the place with many wings that cannot fly. That's that's it. That's your clue. The many Your wings that cannot wings, fly. Brother. <laughs> I hope. And don't bother checking my love the trailer. energy out here. It's outside. With everyone building stuff as they please. Many wings but cannot fly. Uh, Yo, repeat? Can you give me that last hint? Are you serious? The item is under the building that will blow you down. Building that will blow you down. Not too far. Building that will blow you down. They're warming up. So here. Yeah. Is it basketball? Uh, it's fun. So it's confused. Close, Sean. This part of town is dead this time of year. Just grab it. I should stay around here. You're here. Oh man, you're right there. I don't know what the fuck is meant. To what the fuck? Oh, there it is. Got it. Ahoy, matey. I found a map of a way. Yeah. Don't Nicely done. Because you'll need it to match up with the other part. <sighs> Got it. Now, arr, for the second item, you'll need to find something that eats the sun. Uh-huh. Something that eats sure. the sun. <laughs> hmm. Something that eats the sun. Getting closer. Warm. Not too far. Eats the sun. Warm. Oh, there it is. Getting closer. There's the clue. Got it. That was easier than I thought it was going to be. Okay, so we need to go to the car yard? Found it. Nice. And it's a tracing paper sheet with a red cross. Yeah. Now just match up to the other paper. And the treasure is yours, Captain Diaz. Ahoy, matey. So it's over here. I think I have the whole treasure map. Treasure. Hope you know where to go. 
That's a cool ass map you drew, dude. Hey, Chris told me everything about treasure. Huh, whereabouts? Where's Waldo? Oh, it's fun. Hmm. Hmm. I'm looking. Uh, it's fun. Hey, they're leaving the hot zone. Okay. Go it's along here on. somewhere, right? Came here with ease and never left. Hmm. There. Oh, man. Got right it. There. Ooh. Looks like something's buried here. Nice. Yes. I think I have found the hidden treasure. <laughs> yeah. I knew you could do it. I found this under an old trailer. Looks like gold, right? Um, sure, why not? Prospector, but I mean, you got the eye patch, like so you can kind of go for the pirate look. You know what time it is. Victory! Death time! <laughs> Come on! God damn it. Ah. <laughs> uh. You asked for it. All right, where do we head to now? Oh, I think you're spotting Mom's truck coming back. Cool. Mm, yes, one hundred percent her. Gotcha. We'll help her out with the groceries. Nice. Or can't sit on the hammock. Fair enough. I guess. All right, let's head back. What? Whereabouts is she? Oh, there. Nice. All right, let's go help her out. I'll let him know we're back. Gotta empty that truck. This is such a weird fucking place. Oh, that's what's Sta cool standing right next to you, dude. Glad to see you survived the night in the desert. Hey, what's up? Hey, <laughs> good morning. <laughs> Howdy, Sean. How was the town trip? <laughs> Hate these trips. People look at us as if we're aliens. Here come the sand people. <laughs> the deserters have returned with offerings from Das Kapital. Jolie! <laughs> oh, I missed you. Next time, you're coming with us. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Looking good. What's your secret? Defying death on a daily basis. Nice. <laughs> Slide rating. Oh, right. Can't forget your goodies. Hey, <laughs> thanks, Angel. Here. Ah, uh, you're the man, Karen. Catch you later. Take care. Hey, so how did you guys like your night in the canyon? It's pretty damn good. It was amazing. So many stars. So quiet. Good call, Karen. I knew you'd like it, Stargazer. Glad you got to see that. Hi, Mom. Aww. How was the town? Town life always sucks. <laughs> but we got something for you. Think fast. Whoa, yes! Thanks, David. <laughs> you want to play catch, Danny boy? Totally. You can cheat and use your powers? <laughs> way better now. Because you cheat. No matter what he's been through, he just wants to be a kid and play. Yep. 
Daniel hasn't been like this in forever. You've all well, I mean, he really hasn't had the opportunity to be like that for a while. Hope Daniel didn't get scared by all the critters. Yeah, not anymore. He's seen a lot worse. And that made him tougher. And he can defend himself. You're right. And he does like to show off. Maybe too much. <laughs> you boys have been here over a month. And I still can't get over Daniel's... <sighs> skills. It's all to take in. Me neither. But I never figured it out, so I don't try anymore. Well, take it from an old soldier. But you trained him well. He's a good kid. <sighs> Thanks. I tried my best. <sighs> I guess it's reassuring. But what do I know? Never met someone with a superpower before. I try to be a good influence. Not always easy, but he listens to me. I don't know if I did right. Guess you never really know. <sighs> Listen, raising a kid is the toughest job in the world. Trust me, combat was easier. <laughs> Uh, how many kids? Oh, you didn't tell me you had kids. How many? <laughs> None. I was a stepdad. Or, in her case, a step douche. <laughs> oh, that's a callback to season now. one. But I never had the chance to do the right thing for my stepdaughter before she died. We were like oil and water, and she was always starting shit. Guess that's hard for a kid to get a new father. Especially one like me. I just had no clue how to deal with her. That's Wish fair I enough. Did. Anyway, you can't go back. <sighs> nope. Thanks for talking, David. Better start my delivery now. Yeah. Found some weird snacks in town. Arthur's gonna freak. <laughs> Catch you later, Sean. Good hot to hot. Good chat. Okay, time out. Oh my God, I'm gonna melt. That was awesome, Mom. Now I know why they don't play baseball in the desert. You throw way better than Sean. <laughs> We're not done out here yet. Let's get this food inside before it melts. No problem. She is so cool. You think? <laughs> Joanne is so cool. Stanley's so cool. The heat is so cool. Everyone is so cool. You're way too easy, bro. Whatever. Can't help it if I like Taryn. <laughs> Just be you and I know. Alright, you know what? We're gonna leave this episode here. I think we've got a good start on episode 5. I do just want to leave it here for today. But anyway. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to favorite it. Don't forget to subscribe. If you have not already, guys, helps me out a lot. The links to social media is in the description box. And as always, until next time, I'm YouTube's Poppy JN. Peace out. All my life led to this.